Alright, so the extreme theme for this deck is Stardust Dragon and everything that has to do with him. So, all of the Stardust Dragon trap cards like Starlight Road, uh, Star Shooting, Stardust Flash, even Stardust Respark. This one right here only prevents an attack which would put your life points to zero, allows you to draw a card, and then special summon a Stardust Monster from your deck, which means it can bring out Shooting Star Dragon if you want. So, uh, this card's actually pretty cool. I think I actually pulled it off in a duel, and that was an amazing duel. Probably one of the coolest turnbacks, turnarounds I've ever seen. Uh, I also just have like some dark holes in here, and Torrental. Oh, I used to have Mirror Force in here too, just so I could activate Starlight Road, but I don't think I ever drew into Starlight Road once. Uh, the extra deck only has Stardust related monsters in it, and it casts Tell and Nodens, and nothing else. So, only Stardust Synchros, so. Uh, this deck would actually work out not half bad if I just put in some actual good synchro monsters in my extra deck instead of just stardust ones, but it's a stardust extreme theme, so that would be stupid. That's why I sometimes make some uh, questionable plays in this video, because I only have stardust monsters in my extra deck. <laughs> the deck itself brings them out pretty easily. It uses a combination of plants, plague spreader, zombie, and malicious, and... Uh, yeah, I think that's it really, just the plants and malicious. Also, Mask Chameleon and Carrot Human. Carrot Human was a nice little addition to this deck. He has 1900 attack and zero defense, and he's dark. So he, like, fits with everything in this deck. He can be milled to the graveyard with Armageddon Knight. He can bring himself out from the graveyard by sending a plant from your side of the field or your hand to the graveyard. He's level 4, and with zero defense means he's a target for Mask Chameleon. And, yeah, since I have the plants, they want to be in the graveyard, so. Carrot Human. Really great in this really weird deck. <laughs> He's like, this is like the only situation where you'd, he'd be like uh, the most useful. All other decks, not really, because they're not using an abomination of a, a synchro engine like this. I still get off tons of synchros, though. Like, ridiculous amounts of them. Considering how, uh, I don't know, that they... They kind of clash together. What I really wanted to do was just try to go into Shooting Star Dragon. It's easier to make a Synchro deck if you focus on a level. Like if I just focus on level 8s, uh, that'd be a lot easier. But I'm also focusing on trying to go into a Formula Synchro. So I can go into the ranked up versions of Stardust. Like uh, Spark Dragon, Stardust Warrior, and Shooting Star Dragon. Which means I need some level 1 monsters and tuners in order to go into Formula Synchro. That way I can, you know, fuse it, I mean, synchro it with the Stardust to go into these guys, so. That kind of threw me for a loop, plus like, the way I'm going into my level 8s is through 4s, 4 plus 4, and 2 plus 6, so that kind of, it, it works out. It doesn't seem like it does, but it, it does. It would just work a lot better if I just had more synchros in the extra deck besides Stardust ones.